they, they really did a good show though you know i normally don't i don't i it's not that i don't understand but it is more of respect mm-hmm. to nameless yeah like every time there's anything huge nameless are gone that's true and he kills it like he's performing the song for the first time that's true yeah. and everyone was like yeah. oh my god it went crazy yeah really yeah. good performance by council well it's playing right here on your all-time hit station hot 96 good morning my name is the we come back home sunshine all about good vibes and positive energy my name is willis the wild wild willis and i'm in there like swimwear because swimwear gets in there <laughs> that's right <laughs> and we are hanging out uh with tele trying to understand what exactly happened at the techno concert because i mean if you've been in the country <laughs> then you know yeah, in the country, a lot, yeah. yeah not under a rock. Uh, yeah you know, not under a rock yeah a lot happened and a lot of people <laughs> have a lot to say yes, so we just addressed the issue of security and you feel that well maybe we could have done a bit better yeah we could have so we head to techno. <laughs> yeah, we head now to the no. Mm-hmm. They still sasa pre pre techno. Okay, pre oh pre techno. Uh, pre techno yes, sasa yes, rehearsals yes, yes. and such like things. Mm-hmm. Yes, and and uh, some interviews as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I guess I n- I don't know. And this is just maybe from a promoters and uh, and you know point of view and the organizer point of view. Yeah. Like, are there normally like <laughs> warning signs mm-hmm. yeah. that hey, um, say we had to, we need to put more quote unquote babysitting on him? Yeah, because he missed a few interviews in the morning here yeah. and there, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I mean, he came to number ten. That was a whole different story. Yeah, but still, there's a lot of even talk already pre. Did you see? Mm. Uh, it coming like did he come like for example rehearsals? Did he come for rehearsals? Sound check? Um, he refused to come for for sound check. Uh, mm-hmm. The no rehearsal that he appeared for um so you know uh, at that point we thought hey this guy he must know what he's doing mm. uh i'm going to sound check na band so mm. you know we have to le, le, at that point you have to hope for the best you right know? right but you know before that i mean the many other things that had happened where you know we we were really honestly um shocked by his behavior in general mm-hmm. um and 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 in regards to like even the the performance time and the way he performed you know um he was in breach of some of uh his contractual obligations mm-hmm. including performance time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know that's something we are, we're going to follow up um moving forward mm-hmm. yeah because he I, I i really can't i'm finding it hard to take blame for for his the performance, performance right right cuz you know he he also he swindled me mm-hmm. as the event organizer cuz yeah. i had an agreement with him mm-hmm. you know to perform for you know a minimum of 45 minutes to an hour mm-hmm. and then you come and perform for 20. less than that yeah. Over the fact that you know you are very disrespectful to my my sponsors and my partners mm-hmm. including you guys mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean he missed he missed all the morning interviews you're supposed to do right. for sure the excuse mm-hmm. you know so yeah yeah he, <laughs> he, he looks so frustrated yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but i have to ask this yeah. question though yeah. as an organizer before you get an artist before yes. you decide all right so we let's say whiskey is hot right now techno yeah. is hot yeah. how exactly do you go through the process of vetting the artists mm-hmm. and uh, deciding and settling on one artist because i think people need to understand yeah. how that happens so that you can decide okay we're going to bring techno all right yeah. next time you'll bring whiskey or whoever how yeah. how is that process i mean you do your due diligence mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i mean this year we've had um whiskey come yes we've had timaya mm-hmm. so jidana we've had jidana right. technically a niger artist True. Right. so um the only the we were left with two two artists mm-hmm. that you know who we could pick from mm-hmm. that was uh, te- techno mm-hmm. no davido davido's rep here is was so bad, so crazy, so yeah. in the picture mm-hmm. mr um, easy so there's only mr easy and techno mm-hmm. and at the time when we were planning on doing this mm-hmm. i mean we'd been in contact with his management team already mm-hmm. and we just felt like okay number one he had more hit songs mm-hmm. he was the more popular artist mm-hmm. uh, of the two mm-hmm. And um you know, we also we, we, we have friends in the States who have booked him for shows there because he, he, he was he'd been in the States for like three weeks before mm-hmm. for months before he came here. Yes. So you know, you can you ask one or two people who are in the industry mm-hmm. who've booked him before and there were no warning signs from them. Mm-hmm. There were none. Till post event is when everybody 
you know so yeah, by the way this happened yeah, by the way yeah. Yeah, kwanza alifanya hivyo wa wengine mm-hmm. so yeah. <laughs> Yeah so that that's the reason we booked him because he's a popular guy mm-hmm. and th- that shows with the number of people that came through for the event. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't think uh it's it's a hard one whether whether or not we should have booked him mm-hmm. because I mean numbers don't lie. Mm-hmm. He's he's a really popular artist yes. but I think he came and he 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 really he really swindled the Kenyan public that had paid to come and watch him. That's true. And right. the promoters that had paid him to come and perform for 45 minutes. That's true. Yeah. Right. So you've learned the so lessons. lessons. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. There are many lessons to, to take away from this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So next time before you book an artist, what, what do you think you could have done differently? In terms of booking an artist? Yeah. The thing is, I'd, st- I'd, have, I'd have booked him. Mm-hmm. I'd have still booked him. He was the right artist to bring. Mm-hmm. Honestly speaking, mm. he's the right. And if I didn't book him, somebody else would have. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, what I would have done differently m- uh, uh, in in terms of the event experience, mm-hmm. like I said before, was that security situation. Oh, yeah. at the mm-hmm. gate. Mm-hmm. But in terms of booking an artist, Techno was the best person to book. Mm-hmm. And in terms, you know, and he he was coming with a band, which he came with. <laughs> But then all of a sudden, 10 minutes to the performance, DJ Cream is called by his manager to DJ for him. So, you know, that wasn't part of the agreement. And obviously, Cream hadn't practiced with these guys. Mm-hmm. He was out of sync. And he then tries to, you know, sort of scold And call Cream. him out on stage. Yeah, yeah mid-performance. Yeah. It was really unprofessional, given the fact that, you know, you didn't you just came show standing, up for, yeah, yeah. to rehearsal. The, there is a, a few guys, uh, Lorraine Clementina. Hey, Lorraine Samiandika. It's in the paragraph. Yeah, it's like uh, quite the paragraph. But I just saw it up because some of the issues uh, Tell has already addressed. Right. Uh, he talk, she, she's talking about, uh, according to her, she thinks you guys are to blame, but I, know, I yeah. think she did hear this. She says, let alone, mm. then she talked about, of course, the entrance, but you've already talked about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, though she also said people lost uh, some of their things. Apart, uh, according she says security was not good mm-hmm. then on the side of techno she says one thing I do blame techno was not going for rehearsals and coming with his own DJ because mm-hmm. it's a big act then apart from that he, she still says promoters 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 mm. <laughs> and I guess also uh, following Lorraine uh, there's also been another uh, Geoffrey Gishina Peter Musioki uh, and Kevin King both saying the fact about you know mm. it's a, and it's been a question on all over social media yeah. why bring a uh, manager artist why uh-huh. not organize Something. a gig yeah. where we have the top the the cream of kenyan artists but and then, then get guests come like numbers don't lie right i mean sport Pressa did a festival with all the kenyan artists you can think of mm-hmm. i the, nobody showed up like mm. the numbers were low it's mm-hmm. not fair to say nobody yeah. showed up. Right. The numbers <laughs> yeah. would not never have made sense if you were doing this economically. Or, yeah, mm-hmm. it never made sense economically. Mm-hmm. So, what what my thinking usually is is, I mean, Madi is my family, Madrax, and can cancel. You know, uh, cancel are really good performers, but I've just felt like they've never. There's there's not enough platforms for them to shine and prove themselves to mm. a Kenyan audience. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's why you get this um, Niger artist who you know can pull numbers to the event, right? Mm. And then you put your Kenyan artists in that mix so that they can come and outshine that Niger artist. Mm. You get? Mm-hmm. So, that was the idea. I think, for the most part, cancel totally outshone <laughs> and that techno. techno. Yeah, and the dancers. And the exotic and Kamula, dancers. Kamula, we're going to talk about <laughs> yeah. that. Kamula was a great addition. That's true. To, to, to that. Yeah. I think, though, uh, in my own personal uh, you know, opinion, mm-hmm. is that taking away from this event is Kenyans are going to appreciate Kenyans more, at least yeah. for a while. Yes. Like, when we go on an event, when we organize an event, e Friday. Uh. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, <laughs> love, I love what Tele has said that mm. um, we are the same Kenyans who complain mm. that, oh, no, why are you inviting Nigerian artists? Why are we having all these foreign acts coming? But then when we have a Kenyan um, 
event yeah, like, when you don't be, show up you yeah. know yeah. so yeah, because there goes your around. answer yeah. first of all appreciate the kenyan music yeah, first and then all, maybe yeah first yeah mm-hmm. i think i mean i'd love to do a no kenyan event mm-hmm. but the numbers you know it wouldn't make sense if i don't have the support i need mm-hmm. from the fans and even you know for the sponsors but mostly from from the fans mm. yeah all right yeah.